Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Tofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Marvel's Spider Man. There we go, J. Jonah Jameson. You know, I'm not one to promote conspiracy theories, except ones I think are worthy of further discussion, like this one. I've heard reports of Spider Man hovering around radio towers. At first, I thought he was sabotaging them. But a far more alarming possibility came to mind. In his misguided delusion that he is protecting us, is he hacking into all our conversations? Business deals, credit card transactions, those personal calls with the wife when you're on a long, lonely book tour. I mean, when one is on a book tour, I wasn't talking about myself. I don't do that sort of thing. And anyone who thinks they have recordings of me doing it is wrong. Okay, so yeah, he actually brings up a nice point because in between recordings I've done a lot of busy work So I mainly tried to clear out all the radio towers and that's exactly what I did So now the entire map is completely available to me uh, So that means that every radio tower is now unlocked and that's probably why J. Jonah Jameson was talking about that um, That also came with his own little conversation with Yuri afterwards and it's it's a pretty cute one, so I didn't want to leave it out. So here you go. Would you look at that? Half the crime towers back up already. When Spider Cop's on the job, come hell or high water, the job gets. Nope, 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 nope. She'd never admit it, but the chief was warming up to Spider Cop. His casual disregard for by the book thinking was a breath of fresh air. She'd come around someday. And that's that. Every crime tower in the city's now repaired. Pretty good work, right? Pretty good, yeah. Good enough that maybe you'd let a certain someone celebrate with us? <sighs> Fine, but make it quick. The odds were long, the danger close. But between Spider Cop's reckless intuition and the Chief's determined planning, they got the job done. Aw, that's kind of sweet. A pairing of opposites, like peanut butter and chocolate. Or breakfast for dinner. The two work together. And we're done. Talk to you later, Spider Cop. She's coming around, right? Yeah, definitely. Furthermore, because I was exploring, there was a lot of uh, J. Jonas Jameson in there as well. So uh, I also made a short compilation of that. So uh, here it is. Enjoy. It started, folks. I'm getting word of a serious increase in the drug trade in our fair city. And it's not the demons or Wilson Fisk's former people. Criminals across the board are getting bolder. Just as I predicted, the rats are crawling out of their holes, sensing weakness and opportunity. No one listened to me before. I pray they'll listen to me now. Be careful out there. A group of terrorists assassinate American citizens in a bomb. How is it possible that instead of being wiped out of existence, these masked criminals are still at large and still striking at innocent people like Oscorp CFO Charles Standish in their own homes. How? You're on with J. Jonah James. Yeah, uh, my cousin's a corrections officer, and he says the demons they've arrested aren't talking. They clam up, won't even speak to their lawyers. This underscores a concern I've had about these demons. They're not regular criminals. They might not even be ordinary terrorists. Although they certainly commit terrorist acts. But it looks to me more and more like they're a cult. Are you kidding me? Those kind of people are out of their mind. They'll do anything. It's horrifying, isn't it? Does this mean that we have to live in fear? To be constantly looking over our shoulders? To expect an attack at any moment? In my opinion, folks, the answer is yes. As I warned, Nostradamus-like, after Spider-Man recklessly took down Wilson Fisk without preparing for the consequences, our streets are now filled with aspiring gangsters, each trying to out-psycho the other. My next guest is lucky to have survived an armed robbery. Sir, we're glad you're okay. Thanks. It was nuts. These dudes walk in like they own the place, waving guns around. Appalling. When a businessman is afraid to make an honest living. Yeah, it was a lifesaver that Spider-Man came along and stopped him. Weren't you listening? He caused the problem! I did... Forgive me for raising my voice. I'm emotional at the thought of what you went through. Jared, our caller seems shaken. Let's let him go. I'm fine. 
Goodbye! Get ready, folks, because this is a bombshell. We have on the line a lady whose husband was kidnapped by Spider-Man. What? No, no, you've got it all wrong. My husband was kidnapped by criminals who shoved him into the trunk of a car. Spider-Man found him and got him out, then arrested the criminals when they came back. Pardon me, ma'am, I didn't hear that last part over my intern's utter incompetence. You realize, of course, that it's possible Spider-Man arranged the kidnapping so he could save your husband and grab all the glory? Huh, that seems like a lot of trouble to go to when he could just stop actual crime. It's clear we are at an impasse. My best to you and your husband, madam. Jared, go to commercial, then fire yourself! Then rehire yourself before the commercial ends! But no, your job hangs by a thread! If I paid you, I'd cut your salary in half! Not long ago, the demons committed another heinous act of terrorism when they took a tour bus and all of its occupants hostage. We have one of those occupants here with us now. A Mrs. Edna Packer of Edina, Minnesota. What happened, ma'am? Well, these horrible men in masks came on board with guns and held us all hostage. Hey, what's up? I thought I'd never see my kids again. And then the police saved us, and, and Spider-Man, of course. He was so brave. Mrs. Packer, I am so glad you're safe. And also, that I can enlighten you about Spider-Man. You're from out of town, so you don't know what a menace he is. But he saved me and my husband. But look at the big picture. Do you have these kind of crimes in a Edina? Oh, certainly not. And do you have Spider-Man in a Edina? Uh, no. And that is not a coincidence. You're welcome, Mrs. Packer. I consider explaining these things a public service. Now, friends, you know I'm always open to differing points of view. So after a police officer called me out on social media for being too hard on Spider-Man, and it went viral, and people just wouldn't shut up about it. I agreed to a debate. Officer, welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so, uh, so me and my guys went to shoot out with some desperate characters who had nothing to lose. I mean, they didn't care if we all lived or died. And somebody would have, trust me, if Spider-Man hadn't helped us. All right, fair enough. I'm not saying he never does anything good. I'm saying he causes more problems than he solves. You had to go to the academy, right? Be thoroughly trained? You have rules to follow? Sure, but he seems to know what he's doing, too. It worked out for the best this time. Next time, how do we know Spider-Man won't cause the deaths of all concern? Well, he, he never has before, has he? I believe we'll just have to agree to disagree. Thank you for your service. Goodbye! Plans for today are that I want to clear out, I want to try out uh, Black Cat's entire mission structure. So there's 12 collectibles, of which I also already found two, I think. And one of which was actually in that busy work, so uh, let's listen to that first. Oh, poor spider. I know I disappointed you when I couldn't go straight, but why mess with perfection? And with that done, we can start collecting. So we need to collect all the Black Cat collectibles and then the mystery will be revealed to us. So, first one is right here at the southern edge of the map. Uh, let's check it out. These cameras aren't cheap. If Felicia's really strapped, why is she leaving them lying around? Good point. I love making you chase me, Spider. Someday I might even let you catch me. Just not today. Okay then, that was a bit weird, but it looks like there, it there we have our first Black Cat does enjoy playing games. With Black Cat me. collectible of the especially day. Especially me. Yeah, especially you. So uh, while we're at it, I also collected a little of crime tokens while doing the busy work, of course. So let's check out the upgrade screen. Oh, uh, and we're at four, by the way, because yeah, it was the third one that I got in between recordings. But let's check out the upgrades. First up for today, I want to try out the new suit. Holy crap, fear itself suit. I don't have enough challenge tokens for that, apparently. So let's check out some of the other suits. Could go with the electrically insulated, but I think since we're chasing Black Cat, a noir suit will be most fitting. So let's do that. And that unlocks the sound of silence. Enemies no longer call for backup when alerted. I'm gonna go back to Web Blossom, of course. And then we're gonna upgrade, upgrade the uh, spider drone. So backup batteries drones can fire more shots before deactivating. 
Uh, I can't yet go for an extra charge because that's unlocked only at level 24. Then we have the electric webs. I need challenge tokens for that. Uh, the web bomb. We can increase the increase the blast radius. Don't mind if I do. And then gadget shot capacity. I do use the web bomb quite a bit. So why not? There we go. Then the trip mine I can't upgrade, so I need to upgrade my normal web shooters. So web shooter refills faster, an extra two shots. And then we get another recharge timer speed up. Another two shots. And then increases time, enemies stay webbed. I wonder if that's for everything then. But let's equip that. There we go. And now we get science for the win. Probably to 100% uh, upgrade one of your gadgets. And now we have two more skill points we can use. Uh, one I'm going to use is long strike. Increases damage and range of web strike. And then I think I'm going to go for just timed perfect hits to get more focus. There we go. And then we can even boost that further. Fine. And dodge the bullets. Let's get me straight through him. And dodge him. And finish him off. Because I'm Spider-Man. Hit him in the face. Dodge that guy. Lift him up in the air. And turn him around. And then just... Is there one left? There is. Uppercut. And in the back. Get it this way. If I'd actually let you break in, you'd be going away for a lot longer. There we go. And we're right next to our next black cat collectible. Over there. Black cat's been here. She was doing this in person the first time I caught her. Or did she catch me? This can't just be some elaborate flirtation. Hasn't she heard of dating apps? She's up to something. And there we have. So yeah. The uh, graffiti usually gives us a, a hint. That's Ty Stone's place, and it's full of priceless art. You're playing with fire, Felicia, but I guess that's how you roll. Indeed, that's probably how she rolls. So, on to the next one. And there we go, our next rooftop with another lovely camera setup. Felicia thinks she's toying with me, but I learned something in each of these scenes. Indeed we do, and that's going to help us out immensely, of course. There's no audio anymore from Felicia herself, which is okay. Wait, I felt a little vibration over here. Ah, there it is. Hello, cat. I think some big time lawyer lives here. I bet she's after his client list to find new targets. I hate to admit it, but she's one smart cat. Indeed she is, but uh, she's giving away her location more and more, so... Ooh, a prom flower. It's a nice backpack. Let's keep going. Now we have this rooftop. Felicia's keeping busy, but I'm catching up. Ah, okay, yeah, the graffiti is right Let's over there, so I'm assuming it's somewhere over. Well, there's a backpack over there, but maybe going down. Got yeah, it. there we go. Cornelius Van Lunt's place. She's hitting places full of one-of-a-kind valuables. She must be working for someone. Otherwise, why not just steal cash? Your race contact info. There we go. So yeah, she must be working for someone. Um, I've seen one of the Black Cat collectibles is actually right next to our next uh, main quest objective. So I'm hoping I won't trigger that. And there we go, our next camera. God, Mr. Again. Bet you're wondering why I'm back in the game. Straight and narrow just got boring. My target number's 50 million. Nice round number, don't you think? It is. But... If you catch me before I hit my goal, I'll give it all back and go straight. My future's in your hands, Spider. Okay, interesting. So, that's a weird thing to do. So if we catch her, she says she's gonna go straight. Not sure that that's true, but here we go. Uh, more to the east side of New York. Here we go. Felicia's close to her goal. I've got to put an end to this, and fast. This area is full of Wall Street guys. Target rich environment. Target rich environment indeed. But where the hell is the plushie? So there's the graffiti. 
But where is the... Is the plushie inside? Oh, yes, it Another is. cat. Inside of the jewelry She's store. She's obviously familiar with these places. And that gives me an idea how to catch her. Okay, it does. And here we go. Felicia's leading me on a chase. But that's what's going to help me find her. By feeding all the past locations into an algorithm, I can narrow down her likely point of origin. Well, the point is that her locations are actually pretty strewn around. Like, perfectly distanced from each other, because this, this is, of course, a game. Uh, I got a bit of vibration over there. Yeah, there it is. Hello, cat. I was too late to stop her here. But one or two more locations should give me enough data to pinpoint her hideout. And swing up. And off. There we go. Where's the camera? There it is. Felicia's close to her goal. And I've still got way too big an area to search. Gotta narrow it down. So we're down to our the last two. Helps. Who she robbed, where they live. There, there it is. Are. Right on top of that mosque. I think Lonesome Pinky lives here. Steven Isn't that a country singer? She's getting creative. A country singer? I'm getting closer. One more ought to do it. That looks like a mosque, doesn't it? Well, might have been me. Okay, so the last one is right next to our next main quest objective, so I'm hoping I won't trigger that. So as you can see, really close to the box we need to investigate for the main quest. But I'm gonna try and just check this out. There we go. One more location should give me the data I need to find Black Cat. Okay, final one. She's got about 49 million in loot. I reach her before she gets to 50 and she might go straight. There it is. There it is. Found you. Oh man, that's the gallery where they keep the Jade Tiger. That's worth a cool million. I've got to run my algorithm and find Felicia, quick. Okay, so she's heading towards 50. Found her hideout. Got to get there before she leaves town. Okay, so that's the hideout apparently. So Cat's Cradle. It is marked as a side quest, so let's just head there straight now. So, she should be right over here, underneath whatever this is. How do I get inside? Hmm. Seems to be kind of a bunker. Uh, ah, there we go. An old metro station. Before Feast started, this was a haven for New York's homeless. Mostly abandoned now. Good hiding spot. Must be a hidden entrance or something. Okay. Locate the hidden entrance. Well, there's like cats on the walls. Is it just a door in the graffiti? Bingo. That's not really a hidden entrance, by the way. That was just... Ooh. Wow. This looks like everything she stole. But no sign of Felicia. Financial data on the Magia crime families. Is she trying to blackmail them? So the Magia crime families are linked to Fisk normally. Uh, can I actually do something with this? No. Okay. Then a painting. Ah, I can't move past here. We have this lovely painting. Fisk reported this stolen a few years back. Okay, so that must be Vanessa then. Uh, and Wine then... from a Magia vineyard. Hmm. Seems like it's pretty linked to the Magia crime families. There's all the plushies. All those plushies. It's a really finicky spot oh, to stand. Cat's dancing with the little spider. Also imprisoning him in a jar against his will. Cute. Very cute. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't really notice that. Yeah, indeed. She, she, she drew a bunch of cats playing with a spider. Okay. Okay. And then we have this statue over here. Wow. First time I caught Felicia, she was trying to steal this. Looks like she finally went back to finish the job. Indeed. Lovely statue. And then we have the desk, which, which seems to be the main attraction. Spider, you raced here to redeem me, didn't you? You're adorable. And cute, too. Which is why I made you something more flattering. If you've got it, pawn it. Ooh, the dark suits. This couldn't all have just been a game, could it? Well, it's it's all a game, Spidey. Cat Prince, there we go. Complete the Black Cat's quest. Spider-Man, the Black Cat just robbed the police department's evidence lockup. What? How? That place is like Fort Knox. All those cats you found? 
When they were all together in the evidence room, they linked up, boosted their signal, and deactivated the alarm. <laughs> no one even saw her sneak in. She knew I'd find the cats and report them to you. She played me, again. What'd she take? Just her old costume and gear. She let me find 50 million worth of loot just so she could get her stuff back. Which means she's got something even bigger planned. Wow. Gotta give her credit. She played you good. Indeed she did. You sound like you're smiling. You gotta go. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love Yuri, by the way. The conversations we, we have with her are really, really adorable. Even though she's clearly not a love interest or anything, but just the dynamic between the two is really fun. Um, yeah, that's Black Cat, but I don't think I have enough for an episode now. Because I thought this was going to be a bit more involved than just that. So let's just go and check out that box. You know what, before we do that, I want to check out what this dark suit actually does. Ah, the dark suit does not have an associated suit power. But it is pretty cool looking. So why not, eh? Let's just run with it for a while. So, the mysterious box. Hmm, looks military grade. Weird. And it opens up. Spider-Man, so you found one of my recon points. Who is this? Wrong question. The correct one is, can you stop the bombs I've planted? Who the hell is that? The man's got recon points spread all over the city. Are you seriously adding another collectible thing? Great! Great, so those are challenges which have a score attached to them, okay? Let's try this one, so 16,000 for the ultimate level. This computer's tracking bombs around the district and they're about to go off. I gotta move. Okay. These bombs aren't gonna defuse themselves. Okay. So, dispose of the bombs when they're in range. And there we go. So, the next one is on the left. Oh god, yeah, this is not gonna be... This is not gonna be great, is it? Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, one more. And jump. And jump. And jump. And there we go. So close to perfection. Oh, so the score is wrong. Oh no, I got a time bonus for that. So short fuse, I got the silver, well, the spectacular level. You know what, let's retry that one more time. MJ, what did you find out about Isaac Delaney? Check out the picture I just sent. Which one is Delaney? I don't know, I guess you'll have to go to the party to find out. Oh my god, the reptile, vulture and Mysterio. Okay then, uh, I'm just gonna try this again because I just failed horribly the first time around. And with the first time, I mean the second time around. These bombs aren't gonna defuse themselves. And dive. And dive again. Da -da 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 -da. And jump. And swing over there. And down we go. One more, better hurry. And I don't think I can do that any faster than that. Lie. There I'm we go. Pretty good about myself right now. Okay, ultimate level completed. Nice work with the bombs, but you lean into your throat too much. Hurts the accuracy. Is this some kind of sick game to you? Games are for kids, and I'm a professional, and I get paid like it. Guess your client wasted their money. Sometimes information's worth more than money, and I've learned plenty watching you. Okay then, mystery villain. Interesting. 
So we can go and continue with the main quest. I'm not sure how far along I would be with the episode right now. Since of course I'm going to have to cut out a lot of the black cat stuff. I'm about 40 minutes in, so why not check that out? Mr. Coffin and May. Peter, I spoke to Miles' mother and she loved the idea of him working here. Oh, the poor woman's grieving herself while trying to be strong for her son. She needs some time to just grieve. And he needs to see that life's still worth living. That was a very thoughtful suggestion, Peter. The kind that would have made Ben proud. Well, that was a nice sentiment. So, let's see. If we go on the ground level over here, we should be fine. Night of a Thousand Ghouls. Halloween party. Guess I don't have to change. No, indeed. You can just blend in, especially with your new fancy black suit. Delaney's dressed as one of my greatest foes. Let's find out which one. Hmm. So either Reptile, Vulture, or Mysterio. So that guy in the middle must be Shocker. And then maybe a Wasp? Dr. Delaney is here somewhere. I have to find him before Lee does. You know what, I'm just gonna take a look around, because I know I probably can use my special skills. But why would I do that? Hey, look at us! We're spider bros! Yes, we are, spider bros. So where... oh, wait, is that... That's the Dr. Mysterio. Excuse me, are you Dr. Delaney? Oh, Spider-Man, my nemesis. You won't catch me this time. <coughs> okay then. Oh no, smoke. Whatever will I do? Well, cough and let him escape, apparently. This is the end for you, Spider-Man. Well, I don't see myself Which in the mix. Is the real man. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's wrong with you? I worked on that helmet for a week. I need to find Dr. Delaney. He's out in the party somewhere. Who are you? I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> smart ass. Well, he, he is. Sorry about the helmet, lady. So, Dr. Delaney, Dr. Delaney, where would he be? She would have mentioned his costume, right? Okay, that's a nice vulture costume. Find a way to reach the podium. That guy throwing down candy could be Dr. Delaney. Gotta find a way up there. Well, I could just crawl up there, right? Can't use my webs. What the hell are we supposed to do? Because, I mean, every kind of procurer would be weird, right? Okay, then. Yeah, and this is not... This is not... I'm looking for Isaac drawing Lane. attention. I think he's on the dance floor. There he is. The lizard in the lab coat. Okay. Okay, they all fell down for some reason. Was not my fault. So, the dance floor. Hey look, it's Spider Boy! See some one of your nemesis? We gotta uh, fight. Maybe later. Oh, what's the matter, Spider Whip? You're afraid of my mighty horse? Holy crap, this guy is big. Seriously? Oh, <laughs> well, this is weird. Okay, they're getting away with Dr. Delaney. I love he that he still has the tail. Wait, what? Geek Science? No, Zeke Science! Zeke Science Center. Let's get inside of this building. Okay. And that... Come on, that that must have drawn some attention. Let's get in here. Ta-ka! Told you're still going at it. Oh yeah, the music's kicking in. And drop that beat. Take it easy. Oh, they did capture more want. people than just him. Joke, right? 
Those aren't real guns. Back now. I think they Let are real go. guns. There we go. Would you be annoyed with the web to the mask? Okay. Keep your head down. Oh Pumpkin to the face. Don't kill him. And there we go. And there we go. Let him punch himself in the face. And now we can get him in the air. And a bit Everybody of healing. okay? Yeah. Good. Uh, happy Halloween. <laughs> so they went inside of the lab, but there we go. True defense. This doesn't seem like that big of a building, so. Although I need to take that back, apparently. Uh, boop. So let's go down. Okay. And down they go. Focus in the face. Let's swap to the web bomb and get those guys to the wall. Now we go. And then just get that. Ooh. That was more violent than I anticipated. Didn't Where know you could do that. Lady? Indeed. Where did they take the laney? Probably through the next door. Or window. Did they bring him back outside? Pretty linear, it seems. There's Dr. Delaney. Hi, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Ooh, the server room. The second server room of the game. Because we had one at the very beginning as well. Who are you? You recently began working with someone in an Oscorp lab. How do, you, how do you know that? We don't have much time, Isaac. Tell me his name. Oh, wow. That looks creepy as hell. And his suit even turns white. Completely negative. Show's over, Lee. Doesn't feel like it's over. Did he just kill two guys? Apparently the show's not over. Ow! Dr. Morgan Michaels. Okay, Dr. Morgan Michaels. Thank you. Is he gonna kill himself? Oh, gold. No! Wow. That's horrifying. Could have done that a bit sooner, Spidey. Um, I think I'd hit a bit. Boop. Let's take his him out. And uh, this in the air. Focus full. So web him up and then use him as a projectile. And I think I threw him to the wall. Yeah, there we go. He's, he's upside wall. down. Gotta find Lee. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, Chase Martin Lee, sorry. Kind of got distracted there. Through the door. He just, is he draining them? No, he's just causing chaos. Okay. Oh no, the rhino fellow. Great. 
Great. Can I just... So if I just... Apologies. Web one of these guys and um, this is for your own good. And then just web the what big guy. Oh no, I can't. Oh he grabbed me. Gotta stop them from hurting each other. God damn it, I'm dodging, but Oh punch. And then just toss a box in his face. And the webs definitely take longer to get off him because he's he's really feeling the effect of that skill. Okay. I think people might be a bit mad about that or not. That's not the real Spider-Man. That is. Help. I've got reports of shots fired at ESU. Yeah, that's me. I'll explain later. But right now, you need to find a Dr. Morgan Michaels. Martin Lee's coming after him. Copy that. And that's that. Back to school completed. Spider-Man, who is this Dr. Michaels? I think he's the head scientist on this Devil's Breath project. Did you find him? Yes and no. Sable says they have him under protection at a safe house somewhere in the city. But they won't tell me where. I thought you guys were working together. So did I. Okay. I have an idea on how to find him. I'll let you know if it works. Okay, but that will have to wait until next episode because I think we did enough in uh, one episode. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. We uh, found Black Cat. Well, not really, but we did get this nice suit out of it. Hey, did you find Dr. And there's MJ Patty? interrupting yeah, me. But so did Lee. Oh no, what happened? Uh, he, he shot himself. Him and made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name. Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels. Who is he? Not sure, but I bet he works on the Devil's Breath project. Have you learned anything from that Devil's Breath file? Yeah, get this. A few years ago, Osborne came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. Secret lab? For Devil's Breath? If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. Where's the lab? That's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk, he kept the invoices around for blackmail material on the mayor. Everything leads back to Norman Osborne. Guess it's time to pay him a visit. I doubt he's gonna tell you anything. Wasn't planning to ask. Okay. So we're gonna break into the mid- Ah, this building is getting blown up, but... Anyhow, I'm going to take a little break. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Marvel Spider-Man. Goodbye.